Hi, <coughs> welcome back to SAB Business Object Processing Framework. So in the last session, we see the determination, how we can set the order ID, how we can auto-generate the order ID. So today we're going to discuss the static property and how we can control the static property of our node attributes. So what is what is property? So as you know, you know, when you are displaying the attribute on the UI, depends upon the business requirement and depends upon the business need, you might need to control the, the property on the UI, which is a mandatory or sometimes editable. Sometimes you don't want to show the field in the UI and sometimes you want the field to be you no know, read only. Example, okay, the order ID is field. We are generating it, auto-generating it based upon our logic, which we implemented in the determination. So we don't want the user to enter the value on the UI. So it, it will always be auto-generated whenever the user you know, create the new record and while saving the new record, this number will be generated. So you don't want the user to enter manually the order ID field. So this field should be a read only field on the UI. So that's the one thing you want to control. Similarly, you want to have the, the customer ID to be a mandatory field. Okay. So always the customer ID when the order is getting created, the customer ID has to be populated. So these kind of property you want to set it for the node attribute. That is, you know, that's where you can model the static attribute. So this is just a one-time activity based upon this node attribute. You can go and set that information. So that is a, you know, that's a way you can control your properties. So how, where you can do this static property definition and how that's going to reflect on the UI. Let's see that. So let's go back to our, you know, business object expert T code. Okay. Um, also, let's open the our uh, you know uh, business object test T code in a, another session. So I'm currently typed it expert T code. Let's open the business object and let's expand the root node under these node elements. Same time, open another session. Open our business object test T code B O B T. Since I don't have any application as a UI application, so I'm still relying on the uh, no, our test T code. Let's go and open the entries. All the entries via the query. So now you see it's all are in display mode. Okay. I select the entry order one. Okay. So it's it's showing in display information. Okay. So I you have you can see here there is something called test edit okay so if you press this option this particular entry will be locked you can see instance has been successfully locked but you can see all the attributes are editable okay if you want to you can go and you can you should be able to change the value okay so that's the way it works okay but to avoid this kind of edit you uh, know user can change the value the particular fields you can control it via the static properties let's go back to our uh, export business object export t code okay so on the root node there is something called as a static properties if we expand that there is a so similar node will be appear if we see in the right side of the uh, screen okay you have node category and then you have actions okay what are the actions are available and then you also have the properties available so you can say attribute property so currently the business object is in display mode let's go on edit the business object so you see here enabled read only mandatory and final so these are the different way you can control the property of the corresponding node attributes so as i said okay uh, as we know that okay key always be a will be generated so we don't need to show that on the ui so we don't i don't want that to be enabled on the ui and same way i this parent key also i don't want to do it so i, I always want that to be set as a read only okay and so as i said for the order id let's come back to the order id so order id field i want that to be read only and I don't want that to be you know, um, enabled also on my 
uh, screen that's the way I just want to control it let's put it into the um, so I want that to be enabled so I want that to be available in the UI as a read only option okay let's keep it this way so it's marked as enabled and I want that to be a read only and also be a final so we are we are not changing that value again so let's save this similar approach so do the check and correct and generate your business object so whenever you no know, always when you do any changes and when you generate your business object okay you see that your uh, the message you see that the interface will be regenerated so always the interface will be regenerated because if the whatever the change you do that will be reflected or updated into your interface constant interface or whatever you defined it yes so now these changes is done our object has been our business object has been generated let's go back to our test t code let's go on reload reload the transaction okay as you know view uh, our gui is not that you know catch refresh will immediately so let's reopen that session to make sure that whatever changes we done it on the business object reflecting correctly here and open our instance select all so all the entries so to go with the first our option to ensure that are we able to edit it so let's lock this already see that this field is not editable so it's this field is not editable okay so this is you can see the difference this one is editable and this one you cannot edit it let's go and create a new instance okay i'm adding a new instance you can see this one you should you cannot you should not be able to type anything there so let's enter the other value auto id 004 phone numbers your wish and you do the auto id 004 at the rate of test.com okay so now you press save you are when you press save as you know that determination will you now trigger and that will get the order id for you so the order id has been generated it's been populated so this is a way you can control your attribute property so whatever the attribute you want to you know make it as read only mandatory all that you can do it via the static property determination there is another option called dynamic property which you have to implement the logic via your determination we see in the later you know uh, sessions thank you